to show you how I made a dead patch of dirt become a beautiful pollinator garden that attracts bees and hummingbirds and wonderful butterflies. When we bought this house many years ago, the front was covered with weed cloth. It was absolutely disgusting and extremely dry. Everything under the weed cloth had died. And I knew it would take time to transform the dead dirt into something that we could use with microbes and nutrients growing, teeming up in the soil. So join me as we go on a journey of transforming from this. To this. So we are taking off the black, um, the black material plant cloth on our pathways here. And I just want you to see what the black plant cloth does to our soil. It creates it to being dirt compact. How did we take that dead dirt and become something thriving, so thriving that it was capable of having a beautiful pollinator garden? Wood chips. And of course, lots of time. I'll show you exactly how we did it. Wood chips are a wonderful renewable source that when you add this to any of your soil and you layer it up for three to five inches, you're actually improving the soil and you're building it up. It's almost like it's decomposing all by itself by just adding a huge layer of wood chips. What I did was I used the link that's down below. It's a free service. It's across the whole United States. And you can ask for a chip drop at your house. It is totally free. Arborists in your area will come and bring loads of wood chips to your house that you can use as a renewable source. I then take these wood chips and I wheelbarrow all of them to the different areas of my yard, my backyard, my front yard that needs to be revitalized that the nutrients need to be put back into the soil in a very natural way, kind of like a forest floor. This is a great renewable way of using wood chips. Two years ago, we took all the plant cloth off of the area in front of our house and we added three to five inches of wood chips. It used to, the dirt used to look like that, but now, check it out, we actually have soil starting because of the wood chip. What you'll notice is that after the wood chips have been placed down, I went ahead and bought plants and set them out so that they would be spaced out. Everything looks so small and tiny. I almost went back to the nursery just to get some more plants to make sure that everything got filled out, but I'm glad I didn't. Things will take a really long time to go ahead and grow out so waiting for year two, year three, year four of your perennials that you've planted is such a great idea. Not only can you tell what is happening, but you can tell what needs to grow more and you give it space to grow. Now let's talk about year two. Year two, I was like waiting, waiting for things to get bigger. And in year three next year, we're gonna have to see what happens, but it's gonna get even larger. You have to be careful with what you plant that you give everything enough space because soon I am gonna have an English style front yard, front garden, which is what I was kind of going for with this pollinator look, but it's not gonna happen until it has time to develop and actually grow. I want you to notice here, I put a pomegranate tree. I also put a miniature fig tree at the other end. I put different types of bushes like salvia, I put lant lantana in different areas. I have butterfly bushes. And I also have some shrubs that give some different colors, that purpley color that I was talking about. And the reason I wanted the mixture was so that everything had a place and a space. So this pollinator garden will continue to grow and will continue to get bigger. Now I have to be honest, I lost about three of these plants during the frost and the cold. And that necessarily shouldn't have happened because I did pick plants that love to grow in my zone. This is zone 9B, but for whatever reason, it didn't make it. So those plants 
I have a chance to go ahead and pull them out and add to it. One plant I wanna show you specifically that is one of my favorites is Echinacea. Let's go take a look at the Echinacea. This beautiful flower, Echinacea, is a wonderful thing to have in a garden. It not only attracts more pollinators, but it's really good for your health. You can use um, the Echinacea, different parts of it for creating and making um, tinctures or teas that actually help your health and your wellness. I just wanted you to check it out. This is a year two Echinacea. It's already been here for two years. It will continue to grow bigger and taller, and it's just a really fun, um, floppy, wonderful flower to have in your garden for all the wonderful benefits it can provide. I hope you enjoyed watching how we transform dirt into soil. And to find out more about how to create your own pollinator garden and go more extensively into this information, I created a masterclass with a wonderful guide and download to go with it. And if you want that information, you can get it down below. Or you can join my monthly membership where you can get access to that masterclass and so many others that will help you monthly on how to grow a garden for your wellness and health. Thanks for joining me today and I can't wait to see you. Make sure to go ahead and do the subscribe button.